Hi, and welcome to Tips and Tricks session for B1UP. I have a quick one for you today, and that is how to use authorizations in B1UP. So let's jump into business one. And this is all about that you know the normal authorization tree, where you give options to the different features in business one. But if you don't know, under user authorization, B1UP have its entire uh, tree itself down here, where you can actually set up what authorizations the different people have to the different options in the system. So things like validation system, are people allowed to go in their mandatory fields and so on. So by default, everyone will have authorizations except for a few things like uh, master data manager, default only super users have access to that. But again, you can choose all of these authorizations just like you would in a normal system. And the reason, uh, the way it's working is it's just the additional authorization system that have the different form types in here. So you could actually also go in and add more authorizations or change how the authorizations work based on this. So very, very simple, just that some people don't know that there is actually an entire authorization tree for B1UP. So I wanted to highlight that. So with that, thank you for attending and I hope it's beneficial.